Now to our continuing coverage of the E. coli outbreak in Greenwood. Learning Vine, the daycare involved, is now closed. DHEC has confirmed that seven cases of E. coli are associated with that daycare. WYFF News 4's Allie Miles was, has the latest now from Greenwood. Good morning. We're just trying to see if you'd like to comment. People have questions. No comment? Voluntarily shutting down, the owner of Learning Vine Child Development Center tells me they're working with DHEC to try to figure out what's going on. It's just before 8 a.m. and we have seen multiple adults bringing in small children. We're not sure if they're workers or if they're parents who bring their kids here on a regular basis, but most of them have left just within a matter of a few minutes. Very well kept. The you know the owner, she's a great person, and you know it's just unfortunate. Chastity Copeland's daughter once attended Learning Vine for summer camp. She says it's a great daycare with great employees. It could happen anywhere, though. I mean, I was talking with a friend a minute ago, and my child's at the Y right now, and. You know, it could happen there. You know, you just don't know what, what causes it. So I think that's the worst thing. You just don't know. Other Greenwood residents like Haley Rittenauer are concerned this outbreak could get worse. It's kind of terrifying for me. I've always grown up in Greenwood, and it's always seemed like a little safe town. And uh, just the thought that we would have like this breakout and that it could increase in other areas is just kind of scary. Allie Miles, WYFF News 4 in Greenwood. Now, we did get a statement from Learning Vine this evening. It reads in part, quote, We made the choice to voluntarily close the site until we know for sure that there is nothing here that could cause any chance of recurrence of any kind of infection. We will reopen when we are certain that it is safe, end quote.